Okay, here we are again. This is a continuation of the sequel, if you want to, of the previous problem. And in the previous problem, we calculated i sub x, and we say equal the uh, y squared dA. Now we are going to calculate i y, saying that is equal to x squared dA. So this is in this. This is a sequel. So if it's a sequel, we should say previously in the last time video. We calculated these distances, and we say this is two and this is two. How did we calculate that? Watch the video. Well, if you don't want to watch the video, the only thing that we did is find the intersection point between these two equations. And I'm going to show it to you, because I know that some of you are lazy and don't want to go back. But basically, what we did here in the previous video was this. So we match and we equate both equations, this equation with this equation. And by solving these two equations, then I could find the roots, which are the intersections, and this is zero here and zero here. And once you have the, the, the points where the zero and zero, y equal two and y equal zero, those are the points that actually make the function equal zero, the intersection. And then you can get this y and plug it into either of the equations, but if I plug it into this one, it's already defined, so x equal two also. Once we have those two points, then we proceed like any other problem that we have done before. What I'm interested in now is measuring x. If this is x, x. And my differential of area is going to be this one, where this distance is the x. So what, what I'm going to do? Well, this here uh, is defined by y in the equation of the parabola, and this one here, or not the parabola, in that equation. And, uh, and this one here is going to be the y defined by the straight line equation. How do we do that? Well, if I solve for y here, the value for y here is going to be y equal square root of 2 times the square root of x. And the value for y is defined like that. So this height, my differential of area, is going to be that height which is just basically this, square root of 2 times x to the 1 half, minus the value for y here, in this part, which is x, and that's going to be the f multiplied by dx. That's my differential of area. Plug this into that, bam, done. i y equal the integral of x squared multiplied by this, and this is the square root of 2, x to the 1 half minus x dx. Keep working a little bit. Square root of 2 is constant. Outside, x squared multiplied by x to the 1 half. This is actually 4 half plus 1 half is, you know, similar multiplication of uh, powers with the same base. You just is a keep the base, which is x, and add the powers. This is 4 half plus 1 half, 5 half minus now x times this is x to the third with of course the corresponding dx now as when we have that uh, we just keep solving the problem and solve the integral i sub a uh, i sub y equal i sub y equal where are my papers somebody saw my papers here are my papers there you go so i sub y is equal to a square root of 2 multiplied by this, but this is 5 half, 5 half plus 1 is 7 half, so x to the 7 half, divided by 7 half, which is the same thing as being multiplied by 2 seventh, uh, minus x to the third, but actually it's going to be x to the fourth divided by 4, and this has to be evaluated, remember, we are sweeping our shape from this end to that end, so from 0 to 2. 2, this 2, 0 to 2, that 2 is the one that I'm referring to, not this, in this case both of them are the same, but you have to be aware with, of what you are doing, this is the limit that I'm looking for, that one, so i sub y equals square root of 2 multiplied by 2 seventh multiplied by 2 to the 7 half minus 2 to the 4 divided by 4 and i sub y equal calculator again calculator square root of 2 2 to the 0.5 times 
times 2 divided by 7 times 2 to the 3.5 minus 16 divided by 4 which is 4 and the result is 0 0.571 what units I don't have any units but I know this has to be units of length to the fourth there you go another problem that you have I hope that you enjoy it keep watching videos see you in the next recording have a good day